Hey guys, David here, founder of SuperThread, and welcome to my devlog. So in this devlog, I want to talk about our journey of implementing TipTap inside of our SuperThread editor. So a good text editor is essential for SuperThread because we use it everywhere. So it's inside of pages, cards, comments, inline comments, sub comments. However, we didn't aim to create a complex editor such as Notion. We actually wanted to create something that's simple and usable by ordinary people without any of the complex crazy stuff such as in-page databases, etc. We wanted to make the editor really fast because that's one of the key core aspects of SuperThread. While we are extremely pleased with the library, we've learned some lessons during our implementation and in this video, I want to tell you all about them. So when we started, we studied all the possible options for us. So we compared it to Quill, which was the implementation we had at the time, Lexical, the React version, the Vue version, TipTap, and then we ended up with what we have now. So as you can see, our original implementation of Quill had some bugs, didn't have many features. However, Lexical was really good, but they only had a really good implementation in React. And in SuperThread, we use Vue.js. So we basically uh, had to kind of skip that one for now. However, the creator of Lexical is an extremely friendly person and he was uh, happy to answer all my questions on Twitter, which we found incredibly useful. So then we looked at TipTap, which had some of the features we needed and not the others. And he also had some bugs, but not that many. And at the end of the day, we kind of decided to go with TipTap because there was a big community around it. So we just proceeded. So at the end, we basically ended up with what you can see here, which is basically a TipTap implementation with many of the features that we wanted. The ones that are not implemented, you can see are minor ones, such as the embeds of social media, and we plan to implement those very easily and quickly. But on the whole, we have way less bugs, many more things that we wanted to have, and we are really pleased with the results. When it comes to the features that we actually built ourselves, some of them existed in TipTap, but we didn't really like the polish level. So we decided to just uh, go ahead and build our own versions of it. When it comes to the TipTap extensions, which we actually did use, you can see them here inside of our include library is the core editing stuff such as making text bold, etc. So now I'll go through all the features which we actually did implement ourselves. So the first one is the slash command and you simply have to type in forward slash inside of the editor and you are presented with all these options that you can actually use. So we are really pleased the way this came out and it's pretty nice. The next one is the emoji extension. So you just type in full colon and you have a bunch of emojis that you can use. You can actually do the same thing inside of your operating system, but not many people know this shortcut. So we decided to implement it ourselves. It turned out real nice and we are really pleased with it. The next one is the internal link extension, which means that you can copy any link from within SuperThread, whether it's a board or a page or a card or a person, and you just paste it like so and it becomes beautified, which means that you can jump to it straight away, which is really nice. The next one is the internal link selection. So all you have to do is copy any resource from within SuperThread, whether it's a board or a card or a page, and just paste it in here like so. It becomes beautified immediately, and then you can jump to it in an instance. The next one we built is the comments module. So the way this works is really by just highlighting a piece of text and clicking on this icon here to add comment. And you can also reply inside of comments. So you can actually collaborate in line inside of documents inside of thread. The next feature is the mention feature. So you just type in at and you're presented with uh, members, cards, pages, spaces and boards. So you just type in the name of the resource, say I type in roadmap and I click on the board here and it goes straight to the actual board itself. Or a person like Brennan and you just go down here and you just click on them and they get mentioned and they get a notification. And if they have Slack connection, they get a notification inside of Slack. The next one is the image module, which means that you can just copy an image from anywhere inside of your operating system. Click inside of SubThread, do a command V and it gets pasted in there. You can also resize, which makes it very easy. And also you can do a bunch of other actions such as a download or view full screen in case you have more than one image so you can browse them. The next one is the tables. So you do a forward slash, start typing the word table, click on it, and you can add columns. You can actually color them. You can actually add rows very easily, columns. You can delete rows and columns. The next one is the bubble menu. So we used to have all these tool items up here. So now you just highlight a piece of text and you simply click on them and the text becomes bold or H1 or whatever. But it's also worth noting that you can use markdown notation. So you just type in hush, space, and the word, and it goes H1, real nice and simple. Another one is the checklist items. So you just type in square brackets, space, hello, and hello again, and you can also check them. This is very handy 
inside of pages and cards and comments. And the last one I want to show you is the assistant. So you just simply highlight a piece of text like so, and you click on the assistant, choose one of the items from here, for example, and it talks to our servers, which then talk to ChatGPT4, and it writes the text for you. And then once it's finished, you can either insert the text below or you can replace the existing text. Inserting the text below is kind of useful because you can compare the two pieces of text and choose the one you prefer. All right, so overall our experience implementing TipTap has been positive, but while we were doing it, we have noted some pros and cons. So when it comes to the pros, TipTap is way easier to use than ProseMirror. It's really much nicer unless you are a total guru in ProseMirror. It's made for Vue and React, which ProseMirror doesn't cover, and we use Vue, so for us this is a real nice positive. I think TipTap makes you build things in a way that are easy to use and easy to organize. Even the really complex tasks, such as deleting notes, are built in inside of TipTap, where in prose mirror you have to kind of pass through the whole text and uh, do it yourself. TipTap gives you a kickstart because it comes bundled with a bunch of components which is very useful for a developer just wanting to get going with it and start playing with it. TipTap is free of major issues and the prose mirror has some major bugs that still haven't been fixed. It has 22k stars on GitHub which means that there's a community around it which is also a plus. Now let's talk about some cons. I think some of the add-ons are still in the works, so they're not really fully finished or polished. I think they are a bit too quick to roll things out, which is kind of a positive and a negative. Some of the important modules, such as Unique ID, are only available through the paid plan. I think it's quite complicated when it comes to the image module, so it's quite difficult to actually implement it properly. The code block feature could be a bit more polished and a bit better. Lastly, when it comes to feature flagging, so if you want to have the same instance of the editor, only show some of the elements in one place and some in the other, I wouldn't say it's very good with that. But overall, we are happy with our implementation and we have a single editor which is used throughout SuperThread. So you have the same editor inside of the cards, pages, comments, inline comments, etc. And moving forward, it's only going to get better and more perfect. In case you want to try the editor, it's real nice and easy. All you have to do is go to superthread.com and sign up and it's free. Until then, well, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.